For x and y with joint probability mass function given below, find the expected value of y given x equals 2. Since it is a joint probability mass function, we know that x and y are discrete random variables, which means we'll be doing a summation to find the expected value of y given x equals 2. Well, here is the joint distribution, and it's given in table form. And you'll notice that these six values right here are the joint probability mass function. And when we're looking at x equals 2 as the given part of that expression, you know automatically that you are down in this area right here. So the first step to finding this conditional expected value is we have to find the conditional probability mass function of y given that the random variable x is equal to 2. Now in this particular case we will have three different values for y that is 1, 2, and 3. So we'll put these out over here as the support. And if you remember the definition of a conditional distribution it is the ratio of the joint PDF to the marginal. So for the case of y equals 1, you will get 0.1 divided by 0.4, which is 1 fourth. And for y equals 2, you will get 0.1 divided by 0.4, which is also 1 fourth. And then for y equals 3, you will get 0.2 divided by 0.4, which is 1 half. These three values sum to 1, so we have a legitimate probability mass function. Now the next step to find the expected value of y given x is equal to 2. By definition that will be the sum over all y and in this case y runs from 1 up to 3 of what we had before was g of y. Well g of y in this case is just y multiplied by the joint, I'm sorry, the conditional probability mass function f of y given x is equal to 2. So in this case we get 1, which is right here, multiplied by 1 fourth plus 2 multiplied by 1 fourth plus 3 multiplied by 1 half and when you work that out that's going to be 1 fourth plus 2 fourths plus 6 fourths and that turns out to be 9 fourths or 2 and a quarter.